Bada bing, bada boom. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You good? You good? Okay. As long as you good, that's all, that's all that matters, you know, eh? That's all that matters. If you see me talking, you know what day it is. You know what time it is. You know how we do around here. You know how we roll around here. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Oh, this is good. How many sugars? Oh my God, there's a lot of sugars in this, y'all. Ooh, 33 grams of sugar in one bottle or one bottle. Listen, y'all. It's a beautiful day. When you are living inside your purpose, it's a beautiful day. Um, I know I've been in and out on these Saturdays talking to y'all. Um, but I'm going, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to be consistent because y'all love consistency. I realize that y'all love consistency. If it's consistent, y'all love it. And honestly, who wouldn't love consistency? You know, um, I've written, okay, I partially written about consistency. I don't think I finished it, but I partially written about consistency, but I need to go finish that. Um, whew, what was that? Look like something jumped in the window, y'all. But anyway, um, yeah, consistency is always good, y'all. You know, you keep that consistent path. Uh, you keep that consistent. Um, you keep on the path of consistency. You know, it's good. It's good. It's good. You know. Uh, one thing about consistency, I I really feel that it turns into a routine, and that's the part where I get like, Ugh. I want to make this a routine now, all right? I'm gonna be consistent with this, but I don't want to make it make it into a routine. That's uh that's where I, I have um that's where I have the problem at, you know? Um because it's I, I once again I truly believe that consistency can turn into a routine. And that's just me. That's just what I think. I could be wrong. Or I could be right. Uh, what are we gonna talk about today? Holidays here, y'all. I wish I had a shirt to show y'all, but I don't have a shirt. Um, I don't have the hat. Um, that we just we just made a hat. Uh, one okay, so we're making two hats in the process. The other hat is uh, it's a stitch hat, so it's in the process of being made. Uh, so I can bring it out to y'all, so so y'all can see what it's like. But we have what is called a direct. Direct to garment, DTG, uh, direct to garment um hat, and that's really nice. It, it, you could you could feel it, um, it, uh like a direct to garment is supposed to be like an ingrained type of thing, um. So basically, like like you like you washing the hat, and the logo is like sticking onto the hat too. So, um, I forgot how the lady explained it because for me, I'm not really like into like all oh, DTG type of thing. Da, 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 da. I'm more of just like, yo, here's a design. Give me the product. Okay? I'll show you the design. I'll show you what I want. Now I want the product to look like that design, you know? Um, so, I, so, so so we have that. Uh, that coming out. <coughs> and then uh, we have a stitch one. The stitch one is going to look really nice. Um, it has... I believe it has a gold face with red lettering on it. Um, and I believe that's going to be in on, on the black hats. Uh, I believe that's a black hat that I chose that for that one for. And the hats are not, um, they're not very like hot material. So it's not like something you have to like take off in the winter time or something like that. Just cause you're, you're heating up. Um, the material for the blue hat is very soft. I forgot what type of material I chose for the black hat, but I think it's about the same. Um, but, um, I'll tell you, it's going to, it's going to look real nice. Anything I do is going to look nice. Okay. Y'all, you know, I ain't going to bring no crap to y'all. You know, I ain't going to bring no, no fluff McGuff type stuff to y'all. I'm always going to bring y'all good quality stuff because you know what? I like good quality stuff. So I'm going to bring it to my peoples and let y'all see this. Right. Um, so yeah, I wish I, wish I did have that. Uh, that hat so that y'all could actually see it and stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't. 
and I do apologize. Um, once again, holidays is coming, y'all. Uh, so a lot of our stuff online is on sale. Uh, once it hits like January 1st, everything goes back to normal price. Uh, so if you want to give somebody a gift and now be the best time, uh, put the order in. Cause a lot of stuff do take a little time, especially if we don't have it on hand. A lot of our, the wolf collection, I don't have it on hand. So, um, so that will take a little bit, a little bit more time to come in. Um, the God breathe item stuff, that stuff, I, some of that stuff I do have on hand and stuff like that. Uh, so you would have to let me know, like, hey, um, do you have this such a size? Can you get this such a size? How long is it going to be? Da, da, da. And I'll try to see if I can get it as soon as possible. But, of course, a lot of these people who make shirts, they're making stuff for everybody. So a lot of it is going to be a little delayed. But, like I said, if I have it on hand, then you won't have it in your hand. Get it? Get it? Good. Then, of course, we have the Exodus 1414 collection. Um, that is really, um, the sweatshirts with the lion face and X is 14, 14 on the bottom of that. Uh, nice and gold, uh, gold. I love, I love it. love it. love it. The way it looks. Um, and then of course we have the shirts. We have, uh, shirts for that too. We still got a lot of shirts left over for that, for that collection as well. We got the old ones where the blood's coming out the mouth. And then we have just a uh, dirt is blowing everywhere, y'all. And then we have just the regular, uh, regular schmegler uh, ones, you know, uh, without the the blood face and stuff. Uh, so we got that. But like I said, if y'all want some, uh, put in the order for Christmas, y'all definitely let me know. And I, I got y'all. I got y'all. Don't forget that. Um. Do I want to start? Let me start out with this. You know, because throughout the years, right? Throughout the years of um, of me being alive, um, I've seen a lot of um, a lot of people, a lot of uh, teachers and correction officers, juvenile correction officers, uh, fall prey to. The victims that they have been entrusted to. And you need to understand is that parents, when it comes to kids, parents have entrusted you as a juvenile, uh, no, sorry. Parents have entrusted you as a teacher to teach their kid, right? To teach their kid to to learn their kid in the ways that they need to be learned. And I know that wasn't English, but you get what I'm saying. So for you to take advantage of their child in that moment, it's very sad. It is very sad. And I get it. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of people who, um, who are uh, manipulative, conniving, and just um, and just have a way about them, but yet you shouldn't let that be the determined factor for why you have fallen in love with a kid, dude. You're an adult. You're an adult, so all your all your 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 sex drives and stuff like that, all of that got to be suppressed, man. All that got to be suppressed. All that got to be, like, under control. Because if you don't got that under control, it's going to be a bad life for you. And guess what? Now you're going to have to spend time in jail now. You're going to have to spend time in jail. You're going to spend time in lockup. Why? Because cause you've taken advantage of a child. You've taken advantage. Whether it's a child, whether it's a teenager, you've taken advantage of that person. And that comes with COs and juvenile COs. Like, you fall in love with an inmate, that can't happen, man. There's rules about that. And, yeah, it may be hush-hush on a on moment, but guess what? Sooner or later, it's going to catch up to you. Sooner or later, they're going to get you. Sooner or later, the, their eyes are going to be on you. You know? You always want to work in the same the same area where that inmate is. Or you always want to work in the same same room where that where that kid is. Come on, that's that's not 
That's not a good look, man. That's not a good look. That's not a good look. They're going to they gonna, they gonna find you out. They're going to find you. They're going to pinpoint you out. And a lot of times, these inmates and stuff like that, these inmates, these kids, they don't got your best interest in, in mind. They don't got your best interest in heart. So guess what? If you piss them off, they're going to go right to, they're going to go right to whoever they got to go to just to make a report on you. Just to tell them what you did to them. It may, and, and, and at the end of the day, it may look like they did snitching, but at the end of the day, they don't care about you. They don't care about you. You was just there for the moment. You was just there just to get, get make them feel happy because they've been in, they've been in lockup for so long. So at the end of the day, they're, they're not going to care about you. So if you do have this, this sudden urge just to want to fall in love with someone that's in your care, do not do it. Do not do it. It is not worth it. It is not worth it. Especially when it comes to someone uh, from jail. Wait until they out. Wait until they out. Wait until six months, a year down the line. They've been out of jail. They 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 uh trying to rehabilitate rehabilitate their life. Wait until that point in time, and then look them up and see where they at. See like yo, listen, I like you now, you know. But when they under your care, mm -mm, don't do it. And a lot of women fall prey to that, and men. Too full prey to that man. That's why y'all gotta be careful what y'all do. Y'all gotta be careful what you do. You gotta you know that that there is always somebody watching. There's always gonna be somebody that's going to be looking at and seeing what you're doing. And you have to guard your integrity. You gotta guard your integrity, man. That's what it is. You gotta guard your integrity and say, you know what. No one's going to tarnish that. No one's going to mess, mess with that because it's mine. It's my integrity. It's my integrity. It's my dignity. Nobody's going to mess with that. And, I mean, they could try, but it ain't going to work. And that's what needs to, that's what needs, needs to start to be said in our minds, you know? Uh, you you could try to 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 come against me and, and, um, and say, say this or say that, but you know what? It's not gonna happen, y'all. It's not gonna happen because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna um do what I have to do, uh, just to maintain my integrity, to maintain my innocence, maintain my my dignity. You know, um, I'm gonna have to do what I need to do. And a lot of times, man, uh, when it comes to that, man, oh man, <sighs> so I'm telling y'all, if they are in your care. Watch what you do, and like I say, if you need to like get, uh, if you need to like release some steam and some other stuff that's inside your body, the endorphins and stuff like that, do it to your husband, or find some way to release that, so that you don't, so that you do not do it with someone who's in your care. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be years in jail. And you do not want to spend not a moment, not a day, not any type of second in jail. It's the worst. The food don't taste that good. The water don't, don't taste that good. The juice don't taste that good. So, and then your freedom is, is, is taken away now. Once you go into jail, you, you have no freedom. Once you go to jail, there's no like um, that you're going to be uh, safe and secure. There's none of that. So, yes, your your freedom is now being taken away because you know why you took somebody else's freedom. You took somebody else's dignity. You took somebody else's pride. You took somebody else's innocence. You may not have been really that innocent, but yet you took that away from them. So guess what? Your liberty your dignity, your pride is now being taken away. You like privacy? I know more when you go to jail. There ain't no, there ain't no, there ain't no such thing about called privacy when you're in jail. Mm -mm. Trust me on that. There ain't none of that. So, when it comes to that, be careful what you do. 
Let me take a little break now and tell y'all. I do do podcasts now. I do it on my other channel. I'm just restarting it up now. Um, so y'all definitely want to go over to that uh, that website. I mean, that channel and just go ahead and check it out. I haven't put it on uh, Spotify or anything like that. Um, just because when I was on it last time, it wasn't really... Um, I didn't really see the fruit of it. I didn't really see the fruit of it uh, come out. I've only seen like maybe like one view or two views, and that was it. Um, I haven't checked it out now to see if it's actually grown or if it still stayed at one view. But on YouTube, I still got one view though. Um, but um, like I said, we, I'm re restarting it now with just a reintroduction of who I am. Um, and then we're just going to go into some other things. Talk about that. Um, I really want to, uh, just focus on mental health and in, mental health and also encouragement when it comes to the podcast, because I believe that those are two areas that we really need the most, you know, when it comes to living our best life or just living life in general, you know, I think that we need, uh, we need that encouragement, you know, we need that motivation that will help us just to get through life. Just help us get through life and just help us get through uh, what we need in our day-to-day -day life, you know? Um, because I, I, I really believe that uh, that there's times that we don't want to, like, get up and go to work. We don't want to get up and, and do what we have to do, right? We just want to, like, we just want to lay back and just chill sometimes, you know? Um, but when it, when it comes to life, you can't do that with life. You have to get up. You have to get going. You have to continue to march forward. You have to... Do life regardless of how you feel in that moment, regardless of what you may be going through in that moment. You still got to do life. If you experience a death in the family, guess what? You still got to do life. If you experience some type of depression in, uh, in your family, your household, your private household, uh, whatever, you still have to do life. Yes, it sucks. Yes, it's bad. Yes, it's horrible. Yes, 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 yes. But you still have to do life. Regardless of what it is, regardless of what you may think, and or regardless of how you may feel, you still have to get up and just do life in itself. And that's 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 the that's that's the key with it, you know? Uh no matter no matter what, what may what was what's no matter what's going on in that present time, we gotta still do life. And uh, this is so. This is one of the ways. Um, check out the podcast. You know, uh, podcast is 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 really. I I believe it's full of information. Uh, we're gonna find ways to integrate the Bible, uh, with the podcast because God 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 is definitely in every aspect of our life. God is definitely in in every um, in every little detail that we do, every little detail that we are, every little detail uh that we may find ourselves in. God is God is within all of that. You know. Uh, so we definitely have to uh, figure out a way just to integrate it. Um, we might I might actually go back to the the other the the study that I was doing before, uh, beforehand. You know, where it's like taking ownership. You know, um, how Adam had to take ownership of the garden. How we need to take ownership of our, of our lives. So I definitely might I definitely might go through that, or I might just uh, start um, just start start picking stuff out of the Bible, start reading it. And just, and just go through it you know, like that, you know. Um, and then, of course, you know, we're talking about mental health, you know, our 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 minds and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I just did go through that. But a lot of times, um, counseling, you know, counseling, counseling is not is not the uh, it's not the gateway, but yet it is the key to getting to the gateway, right? It is the key to something. It is the key to da da da. It is the key. It is the key that will help you um, go through life and and cope with life. If you don't want to go through counseling, you got friends, you got family that you may be able to talk to. If not, talk to me. Let me know. Like, hey, can we talk? I need to talk. I need to relieve. Yeah. What's up? Message me, you know? Um, all my information is actually in that description, you know, so if there's, so if you want to talk on YouTube, you can email me, email me, we'll go ahead and talk, so, we just trying to do life out here, 
And we try and do it right. We try and do it successfully. You get me. So, what we gonna talk about now? Oh, let's get to our main one, right? Money, power, respect. So, money, power, respect was a song long ago by um, uh, Little Kim. I was gonna say Eve. That wasn't it, but it was a song by Little Kim, The Locks, um, and it was like first you get the money, then you get the power, and then after that, the power you get the respect. In the past few weeks, um, we've been hearing about just different um, different celebrities who have fallen victims to the Me Too movement, right? And who have um, there was allegations against them that says that they committed sexual activity with me. They consider sexual activity well, not with me, but with whoever it was that was uh, coming to them. Um, and a lot of times, a lot of times it's, it's sad. And this is where money, power, respect comes into play, right? So, um, a lot of times these are respectable men. These are respectable people that, that we've looked up to for years and years and years and years and years. And we're like, oh man, this guy is a cool guy. This guy is a great guy. I love this guy. Like... He's one of my favorite actors. He's one of this. He's one of that. He's one of that. He's one of that. So we've looked up to these guys, right? And and a lot of times now, when you hear about all these all these allegations, what, what's the next thing you hear is a payout, right? Like there's one artist right now that's going through all that. I won't mention his name because they ain't trying to make him famous. But yet, his ex girlfriend finally came out. Um, and I guess, I guess, I guess that it's just at that point in time that she just had the freedom or the, the, the want to just to speak on this, you know, and listen, congratulations to her, you know, uh, for real, for real, like, congratulations that you are actually speaking out on this. You are actually like letting the world know, like, yo, this has been happening to me for the fast few years that I was with that person, you know? So I do congratulate her for speaking out. I wish that she would have spoke out a little before, you know, but yet there's always time for everything, right? Uh, and then, of course, you know, he, uh, that person uh, decides to just pay out, just pay out the uh, uh, the settlement and just, just settle without going to court, you know? And a lot of times that's not really, um, they, they say that, Pay now is not a um, a submission of guilt, but in a way, it kind of is. It kind of is, and I'll tell you why. I, why I think that, because you do not want to. You do not want to go to court just to drag out this uh this whole thing, because of the fact that because the fact of the matter is that you're busy. You're doing this. You're doing that. And guess what? You got the money, right? So let's say she's asking for fifty five million dollars. Guess what? You got the money that you could just. Pay her out that type of money. You have the you have the funds and and the 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 equity just to say you know what we don't have to go to court. Let's just settle it right now. Yeah, that might not be a mission of guilt, but guess what? In a way, it kind of is a mission of guilt because you do not want you don't want certain stuff to come out. So guess what? You just pay that person just to just keep quiet, right? You just pay that person just to keep silent, just to not 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 really say anything, you know. And that artist, one second, I'm sorry, y'all. And that artist hasn't um, said anything else. Hasn't said, oh no, it's uh, it's false. It's this. It's that. Nope. Just pay it. That's and that's not weird to y'all. That somebody would all of a sudden just want to pay out somebody without even uh, without even trying to um, defend your name. Listen, when um when a certain artist from Chicago, um when the, when the allegations were brought out, of course he didn't like defend himself. So we knew that he was kind of guilty, you know, just with all the music that he's been. Uh, putting out the stuff that he would say, the stuff that, you know. 
So a lot of that, a lot of that was a mission of guilt. But to be honest, if you didn't do what this person said, then you wouldn't want to pay out that person. If you didn't do what this person is 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 coming against and you and saying, then you let's 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 go to court. You say I did what? Let's go to court then. That's not me. You got the wrong fella. You got the wrong guy on that one. Let's let's uh let's go to court about this one. You know. But yet you decide to pay out, so that kind of makes you look like you're a little bit guilty. You know, like we may we may like you as an artist, we may like you as a person, but you kind of look a little guilty to me. I don't know what that looks like to y'all. You know, and at the end of the day, we're not we're not coming to have this type of discussion here. But it's it's just to let you know that where there is money, there is power, and it's gonna be respectable people who's going to want to use money as an excuse just to. Uh, live their life, you know. Look how many people who who tried to like pay off so many people, uh, not to say anything. But sooner or later, somebody else speaks out. Somebody else has the courage to speak out against all of this. And yes, uh, I think that Hollywood is a, Hollywood is a, uh, it's a, it's, it's a terrible beast, man. It's a terrible beast. And and once it keeps on getting fed, oh man, it's bad. It's bad, y'all. But that's the, but this is the world that we live in, right? This is the this is the day and age that we live in now, where all of this stuff it just happens, it happens. And look how many people have gotten out of Hollywood just because of of how it is, or their experience with Hollywood, and they just decide to say, you know what, I'm calling quits, I'm calling it done, I'm I'm out, that's it. <laughs> I ain't I ain't, I ain't doing this no more. I'm done. I'm done. Like I said, look how many people decide to say that. Because there's just just so much evil that you see with it within that sector, you know. There's just so much crazy stuff uh, that goes on within Hollywood. And I I thank God that now that that they're starting to put in God's name within the mix, which is good now, you know. But let's leave God's name in the mix. Let's leave it. Let's continue to cultivate his name in the mix. Let's continue to do that. Feel what I'm saying? This is y'all's Perkins Talks. It's all things Perkins. I'll see you next time, all right? Be blessed. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the mountaintop, y'all. Let's go. Take care, y'all.